Excellent. Well, thank you very much. And we are Team Hybrid, and we've been developing uh, scenarios to help leaders deal with different types of hybrid working challenges. So the background of this is this is a merger between two separate um, Hackday ideas. Um, Albatross, which was looking at building inclusive research leadership materials and a community around this to help leaders practice relevant skills through prompts uh, that were developed in a set of scenarios. And also Iris, which was about trying to collect guidelines to ensure that no one's left behind as we move towards different sorts of hybrid working practices. And we thought when we were in the, um, the formation session yesterday that there was a really good intersection between these two ideas where what we could do is develop scenarios for inclusive research leadership around hybrid working, um, as so many of our teams were doing this. Um, and it's really based on this idea that a lot of people have fallen into leadership roles or had them thrust upon them. So we want to find a way to ensure that we can come up with uh, things that can be reused by lots of different people to coach uh, leadership styles and uh, leadership kind of uh, uh, challenges and suggest lots of different ways in which you can use these materials to develop them into exercises that can be implemented. So I'm now going to hand over to Lucerna to, to talk a little bit more about the things we've done. So instead of starting with uh, the actual process, we will start with the lesson learned in the process. Um, we And just to clarify from like where we start from, we were provided a template uh, from, from the people that is already working on this kind of training. And um, we had a template for the scenarios to create um, that started with uh, some title of the scenario and the skills and so on. And we changed the template because we realized that the template was somehow um, a little bit too specific and that we wanted to be more inclusive, make it uh, more um, compatible with uh, other type of um, activities because these templates were mostly designed for like role playing exercises. Why we think that um, people have different preferences for, for the type of exercises that they want to include in their training materials. Hence, we changed the template and added uh, the parameters section. The parameters section of each scenario that is basically what we mostly focused on because uh, parameters can be seen as prompt and questions to help uh, focus the problem. And so it can uh, they, they can be used to structure a really specific exercise or even to help focusing the problem in general. Also, we realized that each of the scenarios has some sort of mini scenarios, like scenes where the problem has to be targeted. And we will provide examples uh, in the next slides. And that there are a, a set of parameters that define globally how, what does it mean to work in a hybrid format? And we are also having a look at that. And um, yeah, we slightly then adapted the format uh, to the features of the two scenarios, which are gonna uh, show in two slides. So next slide, please, Camille. Yeah, this is an example of the global parameters. So what we think are the, the matter, the, the topics, that you should think about when trying to focusing any kind of problem in an hybrid setting. And this can be referred to the number of personalities and career levels of the team, the pattern of working, the organizational structure, and so on. So again, some can be presented in the form of prompts, some others are more measurable parameters and just numbers. And now I'll pass it over to Hannah to show actually two examples of scenarios. So we considered um, a scenario when a new member joins an existing team and another where um, you might have uh, barriers to overcome with engagement. Um, and we decided that actually it was appropriate to split these up into mini scenarios, which takes you through the sort of thought process of leadership uh, during your different stages. Uh, we go to the next slide, please. This is a, a demo of, of what, the, what the online resource looks like. Uh, with ability to click through and Dave is going to talk through future potential. Thanks Hannah. So we have these great 
learning resources available to us so we need to think about how we might actually implement some of these in the community um we very much want these to be like a, a kind of pick and play game book choose your own adventure style resource and um used uh, to kind of provide coaching and mentoring to in different situations so some opportunities might be to uh, incorporate them into upcoming podcast series particularly about leadership and inclusion and diversity uh, and then also pick out particular sections in the community, like the RSE leaders uh, group, to, to kind of incorporate these into, into those meetings as well. Um, and through that, build a community uh, to, to add some of the additional resources, like README, uh, licensing and code of conduct, and complete those, and then acknowledge all of the work that's done. Um, so if we have time, I'll hand back to Neil for team and processes.